we've had a lot of preparation to get to this Saturday, so our guys are very excited about you know competing in conference schedule. It's a long wait, you know, from September to now, all the work that they put in for the last six months, you know, it's finally going to mean something. You know, playing in Arizona was great, you know, they get a taste of it, come back, get three weeks off, and then uh, get back back into it. So I, I think that they're going to be excited for this coming weekend, and hopefully we put up a good effort. We've got some guys that got some pop, but we've also got some team speed this year, so um, we're expecting to, you know, steal some bags this year and do some hit and runs and stuff like that and be a little bit uh, more of a threat on the bases. So um, I'd say we're more of a, a well-balanced offense this year. You know, we're not going to have, you know, 20 home runs as a team, but I think we got some, some doubles and, you know, some extra bases hits extra base hits in our bag here. In previous years, we haven't had this many pitchers. We've got 16 pitchers, and uh, overall our depth is pretty good. Uh, we don't just have our four starters going seven innings anymore. We, we have confidence in the guys that come out of the pen to get the job done late in the in, late in the innings. You know, we're pretty close to being where we need to be with uh, our younger guys. You know, some of them have stepped up really nicely. Um, Aaron Barrett, kid out of Saskatoon, you know, he stepped up, and, you know, he's going to, He's going to be in the lineup consistently, and he's shown that he can handle the pitching that you know he's going to face in the league here. So there's some kids that have stepped up, and uh, you know Shedden, our, our shortstop, he's really stepped up. Plays well defensively. He can run. He can do some things. So you know he's another guy that we're going to count on this year. They they made quite a few uh, adjustments this year. You know obviously the freshmen coming in, they're the biggest adjustments for us. Uh, we do have a lot of returning players this year, which is a big benefit to us. Uh, whereas in previous years we haven't had that uh, option to go with. Uh, our four starters are all returners so that uh, they all understand what their role is. It took us about 10, 15 games to see where we're going to stack up for conference with who's going to probably play the bulk of the playing time. Um, Brandon Reed, he's a junior at second base, so you know he's come a long way since day one, stepping into the program. Um, you know we're going to count on him to be solid up the middle, and uh, you know Troy Fisher is a guy from Nova Scotia that's come in and, and really stepped up his game, and uh, he's going to challenge and you know contribute as well. I know that our strength over the past few years has been pitching, um, but I do see that our, our offense is going to be really good this year, so hopefully that uh, we get a few more runs. With Pantlin behind the plate, Junior, you know, we've, we've got a catcher that can you know, control the pitching staff and control the running game, so with him back there, um, you know, he adds another dimension and um, you know, Elias in center and then some other guys, you know, I, I think we're in, in good shape this year.